In outback South Australia, the art of getting around is by light aircraft. Tiny towns and outposts are often hundreds of kilometres apart. You know, when you live in the city, you might know your next door neighbour and the bloke the other side of you or someone around town, probably within a sphere of about 30 miles or something like that. Here, your neighbours are 200 kilometres plus apart. Some of your mates are 600 k's away or 800 k's away. And you think nothing sometimes of going and visiting them in a day, whereas you'd never think of that living on the coast. Trevor Wright is a bush pilot who spends most of his days in the sky. The area we work in goes right up into the Northern Territory across the Western Australia, into Queensland. Incredible distances, incredible remoteness. You can fly 1,200 kilometres out to the northwest here and you won't go over one settlement. You might go cattle spotting, moving indigenous artists over into Western Australia, moving a few mining people around. You might be moving a little bit of freight. His base is in William Creek, one of the smallest and remotest towns in the country. Not a bad day, is it? Beautiful. We've got no power out here. There's no support facilities. There's no potable water. Temperatures in the summer can get up to 50 degrees. Another day in paradise. <laughs> William Creek, it's got a full-time population of three at the moment. Myself and the public and his wife. It's a different environment, there's no doubt about it. It's a different lifestyle. Not many people get to walk across the road to go to work, that's for sure. You can end up in three or four different states in the one day. The environment out here has a huge impact on your business and on the way you fly. Trevor has earned his stripes as a remote aviator, but for new chums, it's flyer beware. It can be very harsh, the environment, and I think you have to be very focused on what you do at times. Pilots haven't got the support facilities that you do have in the cities, and you haven't got radar out here. You haven't got navigational aids. A lot of the runways and taxiways are stone and dirt. You have to be very aware of what's happening with your environment because it can change so quickly. We don't get the rain out here or the snow, but we get these huge dust storms. Visibility can go down to 50 to 100 metres. And you also get quite a lot of heat, which affects the performance of the aircraft as well. For the time being, yeah, I'll do it in the long term. It'll be great to have a place on the coast for a while, I reckon. People in the city want to come out the bush and we just want to go down and take it easy. Throw a line in the water put up the Lilo and just sit on the beach like you see on those ads for islands in the South Pacific. Mm -hmm.